when we talk to people about ozone pollution, they often think of the good ozone in the upper atmosphere, but at ground level, it's a harmful pollutant. And oftentimes people refer to smog, and actually ozone is a key ingredient in smog. So ozone is what is considered a harmful pollutant. So ground level ozone is formed through a photochemical process. So bright sunny days like today react in the atmosphere with chemicals. So chemicals from mowing our lawns and refueling our vehicles and businesses and the chemicals that they use. All of those vapors and volatile organic compounds are in the atmosphere and they react with the sunlight. And that's why ozone is often worse on our hottest, sunniest days of summer. Ozone is monitored uh, from May through September uh, each year. Uh, there are two ozone monitoring stations in Spokane County, uh, one of which is at Green Bluff, and the other one is at Turnbull National Wildlife Refuge. So ozone harms human health um, in, in many ways. Uh, the lungs are very prone to the effects of ground level ozone. In fact, I once heard a physician refer to it as giving your lungs a sunburn, and that always kind of stuck with me. So it's, it's harmful, it's especially harmful for children. Children's lungs are still developing, and they breathe a lot more air per pound of body weight, so they're very susceptible as well. There are a lot of things that people can do to help reduce ground level ozone. A lot of it just starts in your own backyard. So how you choose to take care of your, your yard. Um, consider switching to a manual or an electric powered lawnmower. Anytime we're using gas powered equipment, all of those vapors react with sunlight and form ground level ozone. So even starting your barbecue or with an electric probe instead of charcoal fluid, making fewer trips to the gas station. So carpooling, um, walking, teleworking, even if it's just one day a week, it'll make a difference. Fewer trips to the gas station means fewer vapors into the air to create ground level ozone.